baby. Welcome back to oh, baby. Caucasian Conversations. Here. Welcome back. It's your boy, Tyler Edwards, co-host of Coda Alvis, and we got our first special guest, Ian McDougal. How's it going? Sorry, I forgot the hood part. <laughs> there it is, there it is. Crucial, you gotta get the teeth in there. Hey, it's Halloween, October 31st. Ooh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, happy Halloween. Hopefully it goes up on Halloween. Is oh, YouTube uh, YouTube uh, upload speed's not all the way there? It's a little slow, eh? It's a little slow. It's a little slow. Speaking of A, I want to <laughs> I'm gonna get into that. I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. But since we're on the topic of Halloween, like yeah. scary movies. I know that's something you wanted to bring up, right? Yeah, I actually had that written down on my my thing. What's y'all's? Uh, what's your top one? Every Halloween, right? So I'm mm-hmm. a big Halloween guy. Yeah, I love Halloween. Greatest holiday ever invented. What is your like go-to scary movie every Halloween? Or series like because I want well, series. You want to go first? Oh, you go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm not. I'm not big in the scary movies, right? I'm not. I'm not. But if I had to pick one, and probably the best one I've seen is mm-hmm. probably uh, is it It Chapter One? I love that movie. I don't know why. The old one or the new one? The new one. The okay, Stephen. So the the, the new one. Yeah, that one. one. I love that movie. Yeah. It's just like it's it's got scary aspects to it, but it's like a it's an easy going movie. Yeah. It's an easy going movie. The first hit, even a scary movie, bro. That it's be, not. That shit is way more comedic. Comedic, yeah, yeah, sure. So I've actually talked to my mom about that because you know my mom was a kid when that first one came out, and I was like, I was like, mom, how how did you think this was scary? She's like, no, dude, like back in the eighties, like late seventies, early eighties, like that was terrifying. Oh yeah. And I was like, what? Because the clown? Because like, well, yeah, like the clown would like jump. The picture started moving, and like that was so big for. Like cinema, mm-hmm. you know, and they were just like, "This is scary." And like nowadays, I show them this one, they're like, "Oh, that's not scary." Yeah. What? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, motherfucker jumped it. through a projector. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It literally shows you just biting off some little child's arm. Right? Yeah. And, like like five five movie. minutes into the movie, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I don't know if I signed up for this. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. It was wild. Because I remember, I remember like when I was in high school is when the whole like clown conspiracy oh, shit started. My gosh, yeah. yeah. So like like when I seen that movie coming, I was like, "This is probably not good for business right now because it's good, not good for the the U.S. government right I now." I think it was good for them though because they were like, "I mean, what are you talking about the U.S. government, bro?" I don't know. Like they're like they're they're, they're letting. It, I don't know. You know what I mean? But we're putting like control the media. Well, it does control the media. That's what I'm saying. Don't be questioning me. I know what I'm talking about. But it doesn't like control like the cinematic movies. Though. I mean, yeah, kinda. But I'm saying like, hey, we're gonna make this fucking scary ass clown. When these clowns were just doing this shit in real life, like a year ago, mm-hmm. that's what I'm trying to say. But also, you gotta take like, how long does it take to make a movie with such like such great special effects too? Like, Probably two could, years, two three years before that whole clown. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. So that just kind of was like, well, we're all gonna die. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure like it came like the clown shit came out like a year after the whole purge shit was going on. Oh, oh like, yeah. They were like, oh, yeah. the purge is gonna happen this time. Yeah. So we're, like really scared about shit like that. So. Yeah. yeah. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Something we haven't even jumped into yet is like, yeah, it's Halloween, but like we haven't even talked about what we are yet. So I'm gonna let you go right, first. I'll go, I'll go first because y'all y'all conspired <laughs> before all of this. So now I'm just you know I got this thirty dollars skeleton suit from the our shopping center. Spooky. <laughs> Recently, you know we got the we got the hood with the teeth. And actually, I didn't know this. It came as a family bundle. <laughs> so you know, I could have a Mrs. Skeleton. <laughs> One day. And a little baby skeleton. One day again, maybe. One day again. <laughs> again. <laughs> and a little baby skeleton, which, you know, one day maybe again. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it doesn't fit. It's set for six feet. <laughs> I am six feet. It does not fit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we out here. So we out here. Hey. Yeah, it's wow. yours. You collaborators. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, of course, am Space Jesus, also known as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Space Jesus. Uh, as he said, me and, me and the co-host here, Tyler Edwards. I'm the space devil. He's, he's, yeah, he is. Yeah. Good. I'm the space he was devil. The chosen one. I was. Uh, I didn't really like that. You know what I mean? Shit wasn't working out. You know what I mean? My old lady, we were having problems. You know what I mean? So I like fought this fool over here. Got my I, legs I, cut off. I turned her against him. According to he did. He did. Uh, Just to dumb it down, I'm Anakin Skywalker. I don't know if anybody caught on to that yet. This new generation. Who? Who? Never even heard of that. What? Honestly, I feel like Star Wars is way bigger now than it was back in the day. I feel like it is too, because I remember I know well, I weren't alive oh, yeah. when the original three. You weren't either. Nope. No. <laughs> I think if you put our age plus your age, we probably still weren't alive yet. No, we were definitely alive. Back no, I mean, I'd, say I'd, I'd probably be like this what sixties because well, I'm twenty five. Mm-hmm. Y'all are what twenty three? Twenty one? Hell no, I'm tw- <laughs> I'm twenty. <laughs> Damn. 
I'm old. Oh, it's happening. I'm old. You 23? 2000 and. 2000. 2000 and. 19 and? 19. Oh, 19. Y'all ever seen that? It was kind of off topic. Y'all ever see that picture or that video on TikTok where he's like, oh, are you old enough to buy? Like, let me see your ID. And he flashes him. He goes, oh, you're good. So you didn't even look at it. He goes, no, I saw the one in the front of your birthday. And I was like. Oh, man. Right there, man. Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> so you say you said you're 25, so what's that, like 97? 97. 97? Yeah. That's the year my sister was born. Shit. I was old, a, man. We're getting old. I wasn't even a thought. I think my parents were 13. Yeah. Damn. 13. Oh they were born in 84, so they're pretty young. Yeah, they're, yeah, young. they're pretty you young. young parents. 37, yeah. 38 now. Old ass. Old ass. <laughs> Coming up on 40. I told him I was like, hey, I'll give y'all till 40. Then y'all grandparents. Y'all in grandparent territory. I was like, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, my dad's like 50 years old. My Damn! Like, yeah, like my Damn. Mom, I think my dad was born in 73, and my mom's like 75. So they're like Woo. pushing 50. Yeah. But Hell yeah. What, what were we talking about? I Halloween, Halloween, <laughs> Halloween. Yeah, I want to go ahead and introduce that. So yeah, 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 probably. Okay. And then, so you, what about you? Uh, I like the... Uh, I like the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, the whole Freddy Krueger mm. movies. So okay, hang on, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Do you like? You're gonna ask do you me like which ones? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, I don't play it all day. I, I have my set one, but like, do you watch it because of the, of the story, or, or the do you character. watch it because it's good? Mm. I've never been asked that question. About because them, like, do you know you know the story of them, right? Mm-hmm. Like touch the little kids yeah. in the basement. You yeah. Know, all the parents trapped them in, set them in the fire. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Just making sure that. Like, yeah. I, I understand. Yeah. I just think it's. I just see it's funny because it's all. It's kind of like the original It movie. Yeah. Like it's a horror movie, but it's also got a comedic side to the all the horror itself. That's that's true. But because Freddy Krueger's a fucking retard, bro. Like, He's scared. Oh, yeah. Whoa, buddy. We can't be using that type <laughs> of language <laughs> on here, man. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Damn. Right in it. Yeah. Uh, we'll cut it in post. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. Making me work, man. Damn. Keep it in there. Fuck it. Yeah. You might as well. <laughs> Nobody's watching this shit anyway. No, your last one got 54 views. Yeah. Whoa. Well, 54. Damn. 55. I was the first one and the 55th one. So. Hell yeah. Hey, our first one got like 60 something views. Yeah. Right? And then that little short I made, it's got yeah. like 200 something views. Which short? The first short or the, the second the short? Fuck the Denny's. The Denny's. The Denny's short. One. The well, Denny's that short. One was hilarious. Yeah, the Denny's short one. Because I posted that on YouTube and TikTok. I think on TikTok it got like 600 something. That's yeah. pretty low for, for TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Because I've had TikToks. The one about like here blew up to like 12,000. It was something crazy. My, my yeah. sad boy one blew up. That shit had like 87,000 views. Oh, like damn. 50, and shit, yeah. oh, I'm out here slacking, dog. I'm, I'm the old dog. I fucking, I got like. 800 and I'm oh, like, it's Oh, it's private I'm out now. Here. It, oh, yeah. It was like when I first got here, yeah. and, you know, and I was just like, it was like really cringy. No. Mm-hmm. And as I, as I kept watching it and shit, I had it pinned on my profile for the longest time, and I was like, damn, this shit is cringy as fuck. I'm going to private that. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't delete it because then it gets rid of all your likes and shit. And I was like, oh. Yeah, you got to keep the likes. I got, got 13,000 likes in that bitch. I ain't, I ain't giving that shit away. Yeah. I ain't getting rid of it. <laughs> Hell no. But, Hell no. What, what about you? What's your favorite scary movie? All right. So I started watching... So, like, when I was really, really young, and, you know, I, I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday, you know, like I said earlier. But when I was really young, I watched um, the Halloween movies with Michael Myers. Yeah. And when I first watched, like, little baby uh, Michael Myers push, like, his sister down the stairs and kill her, and then the cop, like, looks up and goes, Michael, and he's just standing there with a knife. I was like, this is it. This motherfucker knows what's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he can kill, and he's alive still. And then nowadays, like, apparently, have y'all seen the new one? No. Halloween I've seen the, Ends or whatever? The one, that, ju- the the one that recently just yeah, came out? Like no, I haven't seen that. Yeah. Like that. I, watched the, I watched the one before it, but I, never, I didn't watch the Halloween Yeah, ends. so I recently, I was talking to my buddy about it, and he was like, uh, he's like, don't watch it. It's terrible. Like, I know you love the Halloween series. Do not watch it. It's so bad. And I was like, well, what are you talking about? The last one was when he got locked in the basement and got killed. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no. That's not the most like recent one before this one. Mm-hmm. It's the one where he gets out of the basement, and I was like, "What?" So I rewatched the one where he gets out of the basement. It was kind of all over the place and like not what I remember. But you know, it's it's Halloween. I have to watch. The what series. was what was the one before this past one? Was it wasn't it called like Halloween Kills? Halloween Kills. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've seen one that one. Where, yeah, he gets out of the basement because it's know, where they get him from sure get him from jail at the beginning, right? Any in jail? No, no, no. Those are that's like that's the one early like, one. Yeah, that's the early early one. 
Damn. That's no, okay. So that's actually that was the one I know we talked about. That's the one before Halloween Kills where he's like chained up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, like looking down. And, and they're like, like, "Oh, I'm gonna show his face." Yeah. Yeah, his actual like, face. He, kill, he kills all the people in the the ambulance or whatever. Fucking. Yeah. Yeah. No, this one. So Halloween Kills was he was in the basement because you know Jamie Lee Curtis made this whole life mission to kill him or whatever. Yeah. He's in the basement. He's got like the things on him, and they're like, "Oh well, he's on fire. He's gonna die now." Mm-hmm. Then the ambulance comes to save him, and they're like, "No, let him die. Ah, he's gonna be dead anyway. It doesn't matter." And then um, they like one of the uh, what is it? Firefighters fall through the floor, and he's like, "Well, stupid." He yeah. Gets out, kills everyone, <laughs> and then there he's like in the hospital or whatever. And it's yeah, it was not great. Yeah. It was very upsetting, for sure. I think I just think it's like a thing with movies now. They keep trying to reboot all these old good movies. Yeah. And they just they just make them go downhill so fast. Like, I think they just ruin it. Yeah. Like you just ruin the fan base. I mean, that could that could be said for a lot of different That's movie saying, series. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I think I think people because we've talked about this before and it's like they'll have this franchise that did so good they're like well shit this did good let's try it again mm-hmm. and it's not sucks but it's just never going to be on parts of the originals yeah, just, there's a very few movies that could that are like sequels mm-hmm. or something like that or any type of addition to the original stories that can have that kind of argument to where they you could say they were on par with the originals like star wars for example like the og three that came out back in like the 70s and 80s mm-hmm. people say like the prequels that came out in the early 2000s are like on par or better than the ogs and then i mean like there's just a lot of shit like transformers like i quit watching transformers after three i didn't even know they made them anymore oh with like mark yeah, mark I, and yeah. I, I'm, I'm not saying i haven't watched it just because he's the main actor oh, yeah. i just haven't seen him just because like i just Shia don't go see it <laughs> that's what i'm saying megan fox megan <laughs> woo wee uh <laughs> What? No, Lord, up. Megan, holla at me. Holla. Have you seen this, Megan? I MGK, 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 right MGK ain't for you, baby. I just saw him like three weeks ago, but like, listen, I'm taller. Yeah. <laughs> I'll but, make um, better music, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a true statement, brother. It's actually a true oh, statement. But, um, well, what's it called? Um, it's like a lot of different franchises, like Fast Furious. That shit just went way out of control. I think they just need to stop making Fast Furious. Yeah. Bro. The last one I watched was uh, when Paul Walker died. And they the did seven, like, six, yeah, five, something like that. One you talking about when they drove off they at M? That's the last one like I've seen too. Mm-hmm. That way and then like Paul and see you again, see like you again was in the was the was, the, yeah. was the song for. It. I think that's Fast Five. I want to say that's the last one I've seen. Yeah, I've that's seen that's bits that. and pieces from the whole new ones, like the whole family shit and all yeah. that. Like I've seen bits yeah. and pieces. Family. But yeah. that last Fast and Furious movie I've seen that like sat down and watched fully was Fast Five. Yeah. Yeah, and I think the only reason I watched it is because they were like, "This is for Paul Walker." Yeah. And I was like, "Yeah, I you know I loved him in all the older ones." Yeah. I gotta watch it. You know they actually like use this brother to CGI the rest of his. Season. Yeah, I did yeah. see that. Like, the, well, he, and it's kind of funny because you could tell like when they were driving away and they looked at each other and he was like doing his old monologue like Vin Diesel was. You could tell it was CGI. Mm-hmm. I think mean, obviously it was his face, mm-hmm. but you're like, oh, that kind of hurt right here. Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. to the man. Yeah. The tree took, just came out of nowhere. He Damn. Took, he took Fast and Furious to heart, bro. Oh, <laughs> wee. Oh. I seen this other fucked up joke. It was like, did you know uh, Paul Walker had dandruff? And it was like because he had his head and shoulders on the dashboard. Mm. I was like, "Oh man, damn, damn, oh no, <laughs> damn, yikes, that's too fucked up, man." <laughs> hey, for the people out there that don't know, I'm gonna jump on this topic as well. But um, if you didn't know, Mr. Ian over here streams over there on was is YouTube, YouTube and Twitch no, no, or just YouTube? YouTube? So I was I was originally on Twitch, but my parents are like, "What's Twitch?" Yeah. My whole family. What's Twitch? They, they don't want to have to. They don't want to have to download a separate app just yeah. to just to watch you. All their kids have YouTube. Yeah. And so they're, they're like, oh my god. You? Oh yeah, it's very it's pretty <laughs> fucked up. Because like I remember, because I'll, I'll play like scary games because you know I love scary games or whatever, and I'll just like be going and then something jumps out. I'm like, oh fuck, and I like throw my headset. Like, what the fuck was that? And then my aunt like called me one time and was like, yeah, Patrick um was watching your Patrick's like seven or eight. Like, you super young. He's like, he's watching your YouTube, and I was like. Yikes! Maybe don't do that. Like, yeah. It's because it's because I was talking to my little cousin and my aunt. She was like, she was like, yeah, I was gonna let him watch it, but y'all used to like a lot of like bad language. <laughs> and then like I called him on the phone on Facetime, and he was like, hey Tyler. I was like, yeah. He was like, he was a like, bump Denny's. I said, yeah. He's like, he's like ten. So I was like, yeah, man. I appreciate yeah. your support, dude. Let me check some. Love that. But uh, yeah, no, I'm on YouTube. Uh, MMCH Goofy. You know, if you guys like watching video games. I'll put it in the description as well. Oh, I appreciate it. Of course, I'll of put course. You all in mind too. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Listen, thank I, you. <laughs> Maybe we can do one of those like live streams, you know, like the people do. 
like the um damn that was very vague shit yeah like <laughs> wait a minute yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. hey um, we do that we I never seen here. a cow do a fucking <laughs> <laughs> the, the one um give me a second yeah uh-huh. wait a minute uh-huh. Uh-huh. like the sleep streams and shit we're all gonna sleep like all the creators get together and they don't even play no games they just talk Oh, dude, I'm in. Like a live stream podcast kind of. So we would have to get cash as well. I don't know how you. Of course, yeah, I do. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I love, I love cash. Love cash. Love cash. Shout, out to, cash. Shout out to love cash, you. brother. Love, love cash. Yeah. Unless he doesn't watch this and fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We're, gonna talk. <laughs> We're gonna talk later, man. I'm hit you up on Discord, brother. <laughs> Oh, that's how we I'll talk. type in your Twitch chat, motherfucker. Got yeah, it. that's what I'm saying. Got him. It hit that boy up too. Yeah. But that, no, that'd be fun, man. I've yeah. been, my household goods comes in like eight days, so we could do it. How long we got left here? 17 days. Hell yeah. Dot. Hell yeah. Oh, you can do another one next weekend? I'm down. I was trying to do them every the weekend. I was trying to do it every weekend. Too. I, all the creators would be sick. I'm down. Yeah, I'd, I'm I'd down. down. And then I don't have to wear this very sweaty. Oh, I don't and, either. Uh, the person that lives in my room is moving out, so there'll be a free room open. I'll just let him know. So we can do a duplex. Like a whole, motherfucking. Yeah. Whole yeah. Screen on the on the camera. Or we can just see if we can do it at, at Cash's house because he's got the shit. And I mean, like, I have an w- extra webcam. Or, like, something, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you wanted to do it, like, live stream to Twitch, and also we could record one, I'm down. Oh, yeah. I'm down as fuck. Well, I'm, I'm down as I fuck. I stay down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm never been up. <laughs> never, never getting up. Never getting up. But the reason I was bringing up the Twitch stuff is because, like, you just said it yourself, is you play scary games, or you, yeah. like, you will play scary games. Yeah. What would you say your probably favorite scary game is? Oof. Because I don't dabble into that shit. Yeah. No. I don't. Witch, bro, Witch Woo! Terrible. Hell no. Blair Witch was terrifying. I actually, I didn't play Blair Witch, but I watched my buddy because I, I, you know, I like to support my friends. Of course. You know, like this. Like, I love watching you guys do this because I think it's fun. It's a Thank good, you. good thing. And so my buddy, he recently, well, not anymore, but he used to stream. I was like, oh, man, I got to watch his stuff. And his the first thing was he played Blair Witch. I was like, yep, no, I'm not, I'm not fucking playing that. That's no. <laughs> fucking terrifying. <laughs> I remember um, playing that shit when it came out, bro. I was terrified, man. Hell no. Nah, <laughs> I had to make sure my brother was staying in the room with me. So yeah. play well, the worst part is because there's a dog that's with you the whole time. And, like, I don't like when dogs fight. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't either. I was like, God damn it, man. But, uh, no, man. So I started on Resident Evil, and, like, it was, you know, scary, but it wasn't, like, it. I've actually found out recently that um, $5 indie games. Are actually oh way more God, scarier yeah. than like the sixty dollar Resident Evil. No, these titles. mainstream titles, yeah. Yeah, because like we played uh, Devour. It was like me, Gonzo, Cash. Oh, and, I watched. And Martin. That shit. I watched that so shit too. Fun. Oh my God, that was scarier than Inside the Backrooms, and I thought Inside the Rat Backrooms was scary. Oh, the Inside the Backrooms. I've watched gameplay of that shit. Yeah. I'd be fucking that freaking shit, out. Oh my God, it's terrible. I've actually like mastered it. I got. Yeah. So I'm, I'm actually mastered it to where I don't die until the very end. And so like I like to bring like Gonzo with me and like Hall. I had Hall play with. Yeah. Time and had him go through it, and you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do, <laughs> but like, maybe you should go that way. <laughs> so, I highly suggest you take a right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just it's what you think, strongly suggested, so, strongly suggested. Yeah, but no, man, I, I tell you right now, man, it's a it was probably Devour because there's like already five episodes, it was like a four dollar game, mm-hmm. and that alone was just like so jump scary. And I love that, I love just like freaking out and mm-hmm. like, whoa, oh, I could have died mm-hmm. there. Yeah, now, what's, your, what's yeah. your favorite, what's your favorite map though? On Devour? So far that you've played on Devour. So we've only actually played two, but everyone's like, man, I'm tired. I want to get off. And I'm like, I can play all night, yo. So the first one was like, you were just in like a little house, and uh, there was just this witch that like walks around. You have to like sacrifice goats. Yep. Yo, I've seen that one. I was like, what is happening? You can make the fucked up ass player models too, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like this little Asian person (laughs) wearing like a old fashioned ninja mask. And I was like, all right, cool. But yeah, there was, there was that one, and then the second one was, like, you're in a mansion, mm-hmm. and uh, you have to, like, sacrifice rats to an Downstairs electric chair. in the basement? Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, who thinks of this? I'm going to kill a rat, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill Sure, I'm going to go for it. And, like, the more you kill these animals, like, obviously, the crazier things get, and mm-hmm. lights go crazy. And so I, I, I would say the second one, just because it was very complex to the layout. I love mm-hmm. complex layouts, mm-hmm. which I think is why I liked Inside the Backrooms, because it's a maze. Yeah. And I'm just like, I fucking feel like I've been here seven times already. Yeah. So, I'd say the second one, the, the Haunted Mansion one, was mm-hmm. pretty terrifying. But you say Resident Evil's probably your favorite? No, I would say right now, Devour. Okay. I mean, Resident Evil, like I said, Resident Evil's longer, mm-hmm. so it's like, there's more engaging, but after a while, you know, like, you play the same game over and over again, you get bored of it. Yeah, true. And I was like, oh, I bet someone comes around from there. Boom. Yeah. Uh, but which Resident Evil, though? Because, like, I didn't like which one, Biohazard? I don't know. I've never played them, Resident- and I probably Biohazard won't ever play them. wasn't very good, in my opinion. I didn't it wasn't really, great. I didn't really like it. Yeah, it Village was fun, but it didn't... It had its horror aspects, but it wasn't really a 
a horror game. It was yeah. more of a See, that's like, what I was shooter playing. game, yeah. like puzzle games and shit. Yeah, yeah and like I, you try and pick up a shotgun, and there's like, oh, you have no room in your inventory. Exactly. It's like, all right, let me drop this. Well, you can't drop that. It's important for the mission. <laughs> all right, I haven't oh, used okay, it yet. Man. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it was, I don't know. Because that, that's what I played. I played Village. Mm. And I was like, oh, this is fun. But then, you know, people, I love when people recommend me games. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll try it out. And then I play it. And I'm like, oh, 8 out of 10. Pretty good. I play, I watch a lot of people play, like, a lot of the indie games. So, yeah. like, some of the YouTubers I watch are, like, three random games. And they'll, like, buy, like, three different horror indie games. Mm. And usually when they play them, they're, like, Really, really good looking games. That yeah. I would definitely play, but I don't really play. It's cause like it's cause like I kind of get tired because I watch a lot of gaming YouTubers too, yeah. and it's like I kind of get tired of seeing like almost everybody I'm subscribed to playing the same damn game. Among Us, yeah, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Duty. Valorant, yeah, oh Overwatch, God. Fortnite, oh yeah, Overwatch. yeah, Apex, all that bullshit. I'm like, yeah. damn, Minecraft too. Like, yeah. what the <laughs> fuck, bro? Wait, wait, I, I, still, I still play Minecraft. But <laughs> I, 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 I do. I do what I'm bored. I do what I'm bored. I, okay, okay. <laughs> only, uh, only a uh, pocket edition. Pocket yeah, edition. <laughs> hell yeah. But um, but yeah, because I was looking at that. I want to say the first scary game I remember playing though was fucking Slender Man, the ten pages oh shit. God, that scared the yo, fuck out of me. What? That game still oh scares me. Oh, it scares the fuck out of me. The to this day. To this day. To this day. But uh, the movie, have you seen the movie? The Slender Man no. movie? It is terrible. Oh, it's garbage. Oh, it's garbage. Oh, oh it's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Y'all Yo, heard about the, the murder, right? Of like the three girls, or the two girls. That it's based on that. It's based on that. It's like the kid? Mm-hmm. The yeah. Kids or whatever. Like that the actual like Slenderman. real yeah. thing? Yeah. Yeah. That's Took her out to the woods to sacrifice her to Slenderman? Yeah, to Slenderman. Oh, Slenderman. no. Because I remember when I was, uh, shit, probably 10, 11, 12. It was big when they had that um shit on YouTube. The kids react, teens react mm-hmm. shit. You know oh, what I'm react? talking about? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the react, react channel. I still watch I, I did too. I did too. But I seen it on there. It was like. Kids react to the Slender Man game. I was like, yeah. "What the fuck is this shit?" Mm-hmm. And I watched it. You just hear that that static. I'm like, "Fuck no! Nope. Get me out of nope. here, bro! Nope. Get me the fuck out of here! I'm not doing it." Yeah, Mm-mm. I had a so I had a girlfriend. I was in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I, had a, I had a girlfriend in high school, and she had like this old shitty laptop. You know, early. All right, was that, was that funny? <laughs> it's the noise, not the not what you said. It was the noise. It was the noise. Uh, um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, so like she had it on her game. She's like, babe, come play this game. It's like I'm not gonna play this stupid ch- children's game. She's no, just play it. She put headphones on me. All right, fine. Shuts off the lights. All right, chill out. <laughs> come yeah, come on. Fucking hell I was like, no. I'm, you know, I'm a man. I'm not scared. <laughs> Dog, I got like four pages, and I was like. I only need 10 pages. It's easy. Fuck yeah. Dog, when I tell you he grabbed me and it was so loud in my ear, I threw her laptop. <laughs> I literally broke the screen. I was like, I am so sorry. Why did you do that? Like, that is your fault. So she did it to herself. She did it to herself. She did it to herself. Exactly. But I was like, dude, that was pretty scary. Yeah. Like, that was a good game. Good game. I won't ever play that shit again. No, I don't even watch videos. Nah, no, that shit scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> scares the fuck out of me. Because I don't, I don't fare well. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, so you know what a really scary game is? It's not even like a real scary it's fucking uh, that Sasquatch game where you're hunting Bigfoot. Oh, uh, oh. is it called Bigfoot or Foot or something like that? I don't, I don't know, but I, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about, yeah. yeah. where you're like hunting Bigfoot at nighttime. Yeah, it's like you and your buddies. Yeah, and then out of nowhere you'll just hear a giant roar and start running towards you. <laughs> you start shooting. That shit is nothing. actually very terrifying. Yeah, no, 100%. So I don't, do, I don't do scary games. I mean, like, I be getting scared on little shit. Like, I was playing this Modern Warfare 2 campaign, right? The one that yeah. just came out. And we were just playing it, the mission where you're alone. Have you I've, played, I've it never played it yet? I'm, okay. I'm boycotting Call of Duty. Yeah, I, I should too. Fair but enough. but uh, <laughs> but there was a there was a scene. It's where you go to pry the door open, and yeah. you pry the door, and a dude just jumps out of the door. I'm like, this is Call of Duty. Why am I getting scared? <laughs> Why are we jump scared? Oh my so, god! Like the the point of the mission is like your soap. And you're alone. You don't want to spoil the fucking campaign, <laughs> dude. Oh yeah, you're yeah, right. He said he's boycotting it. So I'm boycotting. Yeah, true. But uh, he's talking like soap gets captured. And is alone. Well, he, capture he, he gets himself. betrayed. He gets betrayed. Yeah, they get betrayed. Yeah. And so far again. By himself. What? Yeah, again. Again. But he doesn't die. He doesn't die. Uh, but or ghosts don't die. He. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He sneaks off, and he's roaming through the town with ghosts in his ear, telling him what to do. Yeah. And like. So I think the main thing is like scary. Get, is get to the church. These, you get all these people and it's nighttime. And you don't have no guns. You have no guns. You have to start crafting like makeshift stuff. Makeshift like pry tools. Like, some like Warzone. Like stuff. some Warzone kind of shit. Because you have to like go like pick these tools up. Now I don't know how Warzone works. It's not really Warzone. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? Either, I'm talking about like where you can pick up shit like, it's like armor and shit. Okay. Kind of. Yeah. 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 
Okay. But you're like trying to survive. Like that's the mission. Because whenever the mission just said on the screen it says objective survive, it instantly brought me the Halo Reach. And I was yeah. like, oh fuck. Yeah, survive. But, yeah. I love when missions say that. And it's like, well, like, I'm gonna die. You're sneaking yeah. through this whole little town, and you have to get to the ghost who's at a church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that whole mission, you're like, your ass is puckered. Because right. you're like, this guy's going to look at me, and I'm going to get shot instantly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, Yeah, and I almost threw my controller. Yeah. Because I was just getting fed the fuck up. He had to do it for me. I, d- I could not do it. I was like it. the older brother when he's, he's like, can you do this for me? Can you beat this game for me? He literally did it first try, too. I was like, you fucker, dude. And it was on Recruit. I haven't played Call of Duty. I haven't played Call of Duty. Less Call of Duty I've, I've played is Advanced Warfare. The first, the first First run through I did, I did on veteran mode, dude. I died so what? many times on that mission. He got me fucked up. No, I'm I get, not. I get mad. Yeah. I have an 85 inch TV. I will break the TV. <laughs> that's why I'm glad that thing's on a mount. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I need to get a wireless controller because that's harder to throw. Yeah, because. Mm. Yeah, because that, that, that controller over there's been through hell. <laughs> been through hell. Oh, it's seen well, some I mean, shit. If you're going to throw a wired controller, you're just going to take the whole Xbox with it, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Maybe it'll stop it, though. Maybe it won't go as far. Or I just rip my Xbox in half. <laughs> yeah, I've got some. Out. Got some hate, some hatred behind yeah. it. Oh, there always is, there always is. Yeah. yeah, but but yeah, that's scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. Scared the so fuck you out of me. Played uh, Battlefield Two, or Battlefront Battle Two? Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the older one? No, like no, the newer one. Oh no, yeah. I haven't oh, seen I thought that you're one. About the old one. I thought you were talking about the PlayStation Two one, bro. Yeah, that's no. what I was yeah. Like, yeah hell yeah, I played that one. The new one that EA came out, of Battlefront Two. Mm-mm. There's a there's one where you can play as Ewoks in indoor. Oh man. And it's a. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but you're stormtroopers at nighttime, Ooh. and there's Ewoks hunting you around. So it's like Vietnam in space. Ooh, that's so like, cool. So it's like, like Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> that comparison, <laughs> it's fucked up because I understand it completely. I understand it completely. Like, there's Ewoks, so it's like you're a stormtrooper, and you literally can't see anything if your flashlight's off, and you Ooh. only see like where the flashlight's the aiming. Circle. Yeah. So you have all these little teddy bears fucking running around with spears. <laughs> They're trying to kill you and shit, and you have to wait till you exfil, and you have to try to survive. And it is one of the scariest games to play by yourself. If you're not playing with friends or anything. Yeah, do you that's, know? That's it's not even help. meant to be scary too. But yeah. it's, 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 it's like, terrifying. <laughs> what? Okay, back to the movies, right? What would you say the scariest movie you've ever watched is? Oof, that's a good question. Um, I don't know, Jen. I mean, obviously, like Insidious. You know, the scene where he's like, oh. he's like looking. And then it pans away and it pans back to him. The like Darth Maul mm-hmm. looking dudes behind him. That kind. Of, I'm not gonna lie, I jumped a lot yeah. on that one. But uh, I, I don't it. know, man. I, I, movies don't really scare me like that much. Like I actually had this conversation with uh, you know Portis. Yes. And uh, Curry. I'm trying to get them to watch like the Nun, the Con. Those ain't those ain't bad. I've wa- I will watch yeah. those because they're mm-hmm. not terrible. See, I've never I haven't seen the whole in like in order because oh, those have. are like all together in yeah. order kind of thing, and mm-hmm. they won't do it. They're like, no, it's not real. I was like, oh, but it is why real. not? Are you talking about like release order or like chronological order? Chronological. Yeah. Order. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And they were they were like, I can't watch it. It's scary. I was like, but it's not real. Like it does. It's not like it's a movie. And they were like, no, I can't do that. But let's go watch like Last House on the Left. I was like, no, that shit's real. <laughs> that shit's real. People be stalking people yeah. and killing them. Like that's terrifying to me. I'll watch scary movies all day long. But yeah. No, what you think about it is like a lot of scary movies now, like The Conjuring, it's mm-hmm. supposed to be based off of. True, True events. Yeah, yeah. And like even the people that were like the movies based on the what are those fucking people called? The the main ghost hunter people in the movie. Oh my god, I know uh, I can't think of their name, exorcist. but I know what you're talking about. No. Those two no. exorcists they Yeah, it's the, the husband it's and wife. The, yeah. yeah. They did the Amity Deville horror shit too. Yeah. Those are the same people. But they're real people Damn. and they have their house. They have like the little museum area because I think it's and they use real pictures from when yeah. they really did it at the end which, of the movie, uh, which scares the fuck out of me even more. <laughs> because in the in the at the end of one of the movies, it literally shows their house and like the museum and stuff where Annabelle's at. Yeah. Mm-mm. And Mm-mm. it's like, oh yeah, we talking about Mm-mm. the real Annabelle. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yo, what? Mm-mm. Yep. Because that's in the same universe too. Yeah. As them. Yeah. What the based- fuck is their names, man? I don't remember. But either way, I, I bet these people, the motherfuckers know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah, y'all They're know like, exactly. You guys are idiots. Yeah, duh. <laughs> it's obviously these people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'd say Insidious just because I can't really think of one right now. Yeah. Insidious was terrifying. That was oh, pretty, yeah, this was scary as fuck. I tried lucid dreaming after that. Like, I watched it, and I was like, I can dream walk. And I, was like, dream, I was like looking up how to lucid dream. Man's out here trying to be a fucking Juice World. Uh, Scarlet Witch. You okay. Dream, <laughs> we had two different ways <laughs> of going about that. Juice World, Scarlet Witch. Well, he <laughs> said dream walking. Yeah, no, he said, I also said lucid dreams. But dreamwalking lucid dreams for the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Juice World did it. Anyways. Well, so did the Scarlet Witch. Okay. <laughs> 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 
But, but yeah, yeah, anything. So I can't honestly probably name the scariest movie. But as soon as I seen based on true events, I'm like, nope, not happening. Because no. it's that shit's real, oh, and that shit scares the fuck out of me. I know you used to be scared of like hills have eyes. Oh, oh yeah, all and that like, shit used to terrify the fuck uh, out of me. It? Silence of the Lambs, oh, Hannibal? Hannibal Lecter? Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. yeah. Has the silence of the lambs been silenced yet, Clarice? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, that's, that's disgusting. Get away from me. I ain't gonna lie, Green Goblin used to scare the fuck out of me, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's a scary looking man, man. Yo, what? I got scared of him in No Way Home. Because we were just talking about oh, this earlier. Yeah. We were just talking about this earlier today as you do the Norman Norman's on sabbatical voice to a Norman's T. Norman's on sabbatical. To a T. I mean, to a, to a T. Damn. I'm like, ah! <laughs> no, I love. I don't know, man. I love Willem Dafoe was the probably most perfect Green Goblin. Oh, they could have thought about casting. Yes, sir. His, it's because his facial structure, his like way he manipulates, is perfect. Well, we were talking about this like, a, was it the last podcast or so? One of the podcasts that didn't go up because it fucking fucked up. But he was telling me like, because I forgot there was a Goblin. In that the was Amazing the last Spider-Man one. Spider Man with Andrew Garfield. The main Spider Man too. I never watched it. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Andrew Garfield is my least favorite Spider-Man. And I don't know if it's, like, nostalgia coming out because, like, Tobey Tobey Maguire Maguire. is my Spider-Man. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, 2001, 2002, like, pizza time. Like, that was was it, you know? Pizza time. I forget the problem with that. I totally That's my fault. Yeah. If I was on the the ranking scale and it was, like, top three, he would be on the third one. Who? Andrew Garfield? Andrew Garfield. Oh yeah, yeah no, no like, doubt. A, I, love, I love him as an actor. He did yeah. great in the movie. Yeah, and I'm not but, saying I wouldn't say he's my. I don't even know how to word it. He is my least favorite Spider-Man, but he's not like I don't like him as Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I just like because like Tobey Maguire. I, I, I guess it's just nostalgia, but I just love him as Spider-Man. That's he just fits the Spider-Man. Peter Parker. But then to me, Tom Holland looks like. You're 14, 15 year old mm-hmm. kid that really got this shit. Yeah. And he really did it good jobs in all three of his movies. Yeah. And then Andrew Garfield's got that. I just think he's a little too pretty to be Peter Parker. Well, to be this, yeah, to be he's this nerdy cool. ass. Yeah, cool. and he's like a skateboarder cool. kid. Yeah. I was like, but he did a damn good job in both of his did movies. I, yeah, I like the movies. I think I, think I watched the one with. Uh, I forget, I and know, I love the I'm suit, Jamie Foxx. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't watch that one. I watched. Uh, the Lizard. The Lizard one. Yeah, the first, first one. The first one, yeah. I watched that one and I was like, yeah, I mean, it's good. I it's guess. not terrible, yeah. It's really I not. Like it. It's amazing. Man. Yeah, it is it's amazing. amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> man, I just wish I was cool as you. Don't say that, man. You're, you're amazing. amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, and man. that's like every. Really that. <laughs> and that's like that's like everybody was like shitting on him, right, for his movies. Yeah. And then when I heard he might be coming back for No Way Home, first of all, as soon as I seen Doctor Ock in the trailer, Doctor I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, there is no oh, fucking like way. I was like, there is no fucking way these motherfuckers are not coming back. Mm-hmm. There is no way in hell. So, and everybody was like, oh, he definitely redeemed himself for his movies. I was like, I didn't think he needed to redeem yeah, himself. No, I mean, no shot. Like, it was yeah. a they're great movie. Mm-hmm. It's just, and I think, like, I think they just got over, they just, like, it's, it's like we said earlier, it's like, you take the OG three Spider-Man and then you try to remake them, mm-hmm. everybody's going to be like, nah, that's ain't no, shit. That's yeah. not Tobey Maguire. Yeah. And like I'm saying, I think, I think we were just too young back in the day to defend Andrew the, Garfield yeah. when the movies came out. Yeah, that's fair. So, like, now that we're all grown up and watched all of his movies and shit, we're all like, nah, he was actually a super good Spider-Man. Yeah, he was actually Spider-Man. a really yeah. good Spider-Man, yeah. yeah. I actually had this conversation with Hall. And, like, Hall, so Andrew Garfield is Hall's Spider-Man. Like, really? He's like, I love you. I think he was the best one. I was like, first of all, you're drunk. But <laughs> first of all, come down, buddy. But I remember, so it was, like, me. I don't know if y'all ever met uh, Anderson. Are you? I know you did. Mustache Andy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did yeah. you yeah. meet him, too? Yeah, right, Connor. So him, Connor, right? Connor, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Lovardo. yeah. We all went to the movie theater when No Way Home came out. Yeah, we were there. I was there. I was there. Yeah, I was there. I was there. Uh, I was there. It was me. It was me, Donald, and Townsend. All three of us. And then y'all were all like, y'all y'all were like a row in front of us. We were all there. But you remember in the theater, like when uh, when uh, Andrew Garfield came out, Mm -hmm. everyone was like, "Yes, Mm -hmm. let's go!" And I was like, "Oh man, there is some love for Andrew." (laughs) Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then of course, when Toby came out, I stood up. I stood up. Yeah, like let's go. Let's go. It's over. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Whoa, Spider-Man yeah. doesn't kill, bro. Come no, yeah. No. Shit, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew does. <laughs> Andrew did. Yeah, he did kill. Aww, yeah, he does. Punches, Aww. Oh. Gwen Stacy. Aww. But not just him. <laughs> if, if you catch it in the movie, he says he stopped pulling his punches. punches. He, got ven- he got vengeful. Oh, yeah, he, he did. He got he rageful. Vengeful. And yeah. If you're going by the comics, Spider-Man's got like a powerful motherfucking punch. And he's got a lot of bodies, too. He's stronger than Captain America. Like, if you go over to, like, you know, I'm going to feel real bad because I forget his name. 
He was the creator of Marvel. Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Stan Lee. That's there it is. Was, you didn't forget it. I wanted to say Steve. Steve. Steve Rogers? Steve, <laughs> Steve Rogers was there. But no, so he like ranked all of his his Marvel heroes. Mm-hmm. And Spider-Man was number three. So like he's pretty damn strong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like if the creator of the fucking, of the, 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 the Marvel Universe says that Spider-Man is strong as fuck. Like, yeah. He better, yeah. I mean he is because like there was a lot of scenes like I was looking at and I'm like, bro, no regular person's doing that. No. No like I was watching the scene from uh, Homecoming. You know when he's getting drugged by the by the fucking the van with the shit in it, mm-hmm. and he just hits that curb at like fifty miles an hour. I was like, "That's ripping a man in half." Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. God. Or like when he's holding the boat together. Yeah. Ferry boat. Or the train. Or the train. Or the train. Yeah. It's just a kid. The man was like twenty five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Yeah, how do we get how do we get off on a, on a Spider-Man tangent like that, bro? <laughs> I, don't know. Back I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We love it. We got I love. It. I love. I'm a Marvel fanatic. I, yeah, I love Marvel. I'm a Spider-Man fanatic. Oh, oh yeah. Hang on. So on that note, Marvel or DC? Oh, Marvel. Marvel. All right, Marvel. All right, just so we're all on the same. Yeah, <laughs> Marvel. No doubt. Just making sure. DC I like makes great comics, but oh yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, and their right. shows, I would say, nah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. The air. The 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 the. Yeah. I refuse to watch it. It's so bad. Refuse. Man, try to defend it for the longest time. Bro. I wanted to see Daredevil. Damn it! I got to see him, and then I was like, "Then he was just." Eh. Eh. Well, didn't he get beat up by She-Hulk? No, he fucked her. Yeah, <laughs> right. All right, so everything I said about She-Hulk, I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna rewatch the show. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked She-Hulk. Yeah, and then she made him leave. He, she made him leave, and he was walking home in his outfit, middle of the morning, with no boots on. Where was his boots? In his hands. <laughs> He did the oh, walk, of walk of shame. Walk of shame. In the show. God. I was like, how'd you just do this for my boy? Wait, did she Hulk out? You know, during the... Like, during she the was she play? Hulk. She was she Hulk while the thing was happening. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, good for him, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but, like, it's, it weren't just like a one-night stand either, because at the end, they were, like, eating dinner together with their family. I said, my boy Matt is a dog. He's like, he blind and still pulling. Still pulling. <laughs> still pulling. Damn, bro. Teach me. <laughs> what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell me something, bro. Damn. You don't, you don't got cool superpowers. That's what it is, man. <laughs> or I, I got the red, red glasses. Red glasses. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah I need the red glasses. And that damn stick. Mm-hmm. Throw that stick out. Facts. But, oh, yeah. But uh, what I was trying to say is like the, you know, we're going to get there. The CW shows, like Arrow, Flash, all those, I really enjoyed those mm-hmm. until probably like season four, five. Yeah. But I really do like the way those shows, I will say the DC shows to me are better than the movies to yeah. a certain degree, to yeah, a certain I, degree. I, honestly, I can see that. The CGI, not so much, but the storyline and yeah. just how they how they develop their characters on the shows are just way better. Yeah. I, I just love to it. Explain to my buddy because I'm I'm a big Flash guy. I love oh, yeah. the Flash. He's my favorite. You know, make a reverse time, fix mm-hmm. history, mm-hmm. do whatever. He can also fuck a lot of shit up too. He can also <laughs> do a <laughs> lot of damage. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Show. But um, I think I see that dude who played Barry and like I feel bad because I don't know his name. Grant Gustin. Grant Gu- in the show. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we out here. I'm good. I see him as Flash because I watched yeah. the TV show before the the, the Justice, Justice League. League. Yeah, I did too. And then, you know, the whole thing going on with this Flash. Ezra Miller. Now. Yeah, it's that guy. Damn, I'm good Fuck with his names. He's on it. <laughs> he was ready. He had it written down. Yeah. But no, I, I don't see him as Flash. One, I don't like his demeanor. I don't like how he's I don't he like his person. suit. I don't, I don't like, like his suit. suit. I don't like I don't like the way he fucking runs, bro. Yeah, that whole like. the way he runs, bro? <laughs> Bruce! Bitch! She's the key! <laughs> Shut up. Get out of my head. <laughs> Shut up. Go away. Go away. No one likes That's you. That's why bro. Superman fucked him up. Yeah. <laughs> fucked him up. When he pulled in, just went. I said, that's why he's the goat! The goat! But I, I wish they would have brought him. And then especially with all the allegations of the, uh, like what's going on now with that Ezra guy. Take take the TV show. Yeah. Take and there's him. like, you know, the episode in the Flash show when like they met each other. Ezra Miller and Greg Gustin both met each other. I didn't make it to that part. That's a part? Yeah. <laughs> it's in the Crisis on Infinite Earths. What season is this? So it's like it's one of the... Five. I think it was five. But I don't think it was a Flash episode. Because you know how they had the oh, crossovers? The I can't remember yeah. what episode it was on what show, mm-hmm. but they met each other. Ezra That's Miller true. and Grant Gustin both met each other. He's like, dude, I love your suit, man. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You're, You're the Flash, lying. bro. You're lying. <laughs> you are lying right now. Yeah, but um, what would you say your favorite DC film of all time is? I'm going to sound super cliche when I say this. Because if, hey, if you say what I think you're going to say, <laughs> it's, it's the Dark Knight. The dark Knight okay, I don't I don't think that's cliche at all. Yeah. I think that is what I call educated. educated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But also, I don't know if y'all like to watch the animated ones either. I've yeah. got, I haven't watched a bunch of them, but I've gotten into watching them because I know the yeah. storyline's so damn good. Yeah, so I fucked up, and my buddy showed me um, Justice League Apocalypse Now. Yeah. Ap- Apocalypse, Apocalypse War, or whatever it's called. And that, I was like, yo, this is an animated show, and this is like, on, they were killing each other. Mm-hmm. There's blood everywhere, people are dying. One yeah. woman dies. I was like, Marvin the Martian, Mar- 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 Martian the Manhunter dies. Yeah. I was like, this is it. The last one I watched was the Flashpoint one. Flashpoint? That's yeah. A, I think I was about to watch that one. And I watched Under the Red Hood, which is awesome, because I love Red Hood. Red yeah. Hood's just a badass character. Yeah. And I watched that one. I watched Death in the Family, Batman Death in the Ooh, Family. That was a one. really good one, too, animated. I'm not really big on animated stuff, yeah. but those are really good. I love really, them. And it's kind of hard to not like. Like, if it's animated, eh, but if it's for something that I already know and love, yeah, sure. Yeah. But The Dark Knight is... Definitely. That's, up that's one of not just superhero movies to me. That's one of my like probably the best oh, movies I've ever seen. Story wise, actor wise, mm-hmm. phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I mean, speaking of uh, <clears throat> Batman, did y'all play Gotham Knights yet? No, I haven't got it. Uh, is it bad? No, it's, it's great. Okay. Listen, okay. See, I don't. I don't. Maybe I'm just like again the nostalgia. Of, like, yeah. Oh my God, it's the Bat family. Yeah. Right? Like I love them. Mm-hmm. But like, it's so good. And my buddy was telling me he was like, yeah, everyone's shitting on it. Yeah. I'm like, why? Like, I, okay, if you play it by yourself, I'm not a big person who likes playing video games by myself. I love oh, yeah, true. people yeah. and getting people involved. Sex. And so I, me and him, from start to finish, were the same character. You know, I had to pick Batgirl because, you know, I was like, Barbara She got that damn dumpy she on her. Oracle vibes. You know oh, yeah. Saying? Oh, yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah, the dumpy. I, I, said, it, I said it so you don't have to. <laughs> I appreciate that. But it's such, like, the storyline was really good. It was kind of, it wasn't with the other Arkham games. Like yeah. if you want to compare Arkham to Gotham, like it's it's don't do that. That's what I seen. That's what I seen. The biggest thing was is a lot of people saying it was so shit. It's because they go into it thinking, thinking it's, it's going to be an Arkham games. game. Yeah, and it's mm. not. It's not. You have, you have to think of its own independent game. Yeah, because the story a little bit too is off. Because if you watch the Arkham game, which get a little sneak peek. You yeah, already played the game. No spoilers here. Yeah, but if you watch, if you play the Arkham games, you know Jason Todd is Arkham Knight. Is Arkham Knight? Yeah, and he gets you know killed by Joker. Yeah, and he's got the J on his face. Yeah, he gets thrown in the Lazarus pit. He comes back to life. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. So in this one, all of that kind of is like it's still a thing. Like they talk about it briefly. But instead of the J on his face, because Joker, you know, was a little asshole. Yeah. It's just a scar going yeah. up his face. Which and, he's like, right. as fuck, and he's too. Just, whoosh, big as fuck, too. Big as fuck, yeah. Like, my suit is, like, power 2,000. You start out with power 50. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm out here. <laughs> big ass. <laughs> you, know, yeah. uh, you, know what I'm you know what we're mm-hmm. doing. But, like, he learns to control his Lazarus powers. And, like, you know, it's. I think it was a great game. I mm-hmm. think they did really well on it. You already beat it? Oh, yeah. Holy shit. I, mean, I beat it in, like, four days. Like, we yeah. nonstop. Touch I grass, stayed bro. God damn. No, chill out. <laughs> chill out. Listen, I'm, I don't work right now. You guys know that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I stay that's up true. four in the morning because my buddies are back in Canada. Yeah. So they're up. To that, that's, like, 11 o'clock their time. is like, 4 o'clock our time or something like that. Damn. So I'm up just late. And then I wake up at 11. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll show up to work, I guess. <laughs> and clear. Yeah. Do something. So, that dude, we just played it nonstop and beat it and... The ending, yeah, the the plot twist on the end, you kind of saw it in the beginning, but then you kind of forget about it. I've seen it. You seen the ending? Yeah. This man watches all this cinematic. Uh, I, I watch it because I don't know if I want to buy it yet. Well, then you just ruined it for yourself. He did the yeah, same I don't give shit a shit. With Modern Warfare too, bro. Yeah. Because I, I didn't know if I was gonna get it, and then a bunch of my buddies were like, eh. And he like knows all the cutscenes like word yeah. for word right yeah. now, bro. I'm like that. I like to go into something, know what I'm about to get. Yeah. No, nah, I, I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, I thought it was a really good game. Yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, I love. I just love. I just love superhero shit, regardless. Mm-hmm. And Red Hood's one of my characters. Cause I was in. I was in Basic when they dropped the original trailer for it, and I was like, "Holy shit! What the fuck?" But then they say, "No, two years later, oh, it's finally here." But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. You Maybe Basic two years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> about to hit seven. <laughs> Damn! Ah, it hurts. We're back to the old <laughs> yeah. factor. I almost graduated. Yeah, I graduated two years ago. So you guys went through like during COVID? 22? Yeah. Well, you, you Peak of COVID. You went for two years as well? Two years ago? He came in like a month before me. Oh, I'm going on three years. Man. Yeah, I'm going on three years. Because I graduated. So you guys are yeah. like almost done here, yeah? Close. Like, like next year. year, next year. Yeah. Awesome. Next year. Man, it flies. I oh, I hope so. March, I get out here in January, January 24th. A little over a year. Unless they do the whole medical stuff, you know. 
Yeah, hopefully. We'll talk, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Disclosed information. Information. Hippo or hippo. What time? What time we got on there? Forty-four. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We got sixteen more minutes You're before cut, before it cuts off out? cuts off an hour. That's fucked up. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> Does it go past yeah, an hour? Check. Does it go past an hour? That's wild. On the smart though. On the garage band. Oh, okay. Of one. recording. It's okay because then we just end it and then. Yeah, you just yeah. Turn it over. Oh, yeah. No, no doubt. We haven't talked about everything we want to talk about. No, 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 no. But I'm going to get on that right now. So right. you were just talking about your boys in Canada, right? Yep. You're Canadian. I am, yep. Well, How did that happen? Citizen. How did that happen? Um. All right. <clears throat> Long story. We got 15 minutes. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be quick. So, mom and dad, right? Love each other very much. Yeah. Uh-huh. They, they were born and raised in Canada. Uh, small, small town Canada. Uh, shout out to uh, Heartland, New Brunswick. They're not from there, but that's where I'm from. Uh, amen. <laughs> and, uh, Praise God. Pra- uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> In the house, we here. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think about so, it. It's all right. We'll go bad. We're going to keep going. Praise so, Allah. yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man. We're touching base on everyone. Every single one. Hey, what about this one? Right on. Keep it going. Right on. <laughs> here we go. All right. So, you know, they, they meet each other in high school. They have a kid while they're still in high school. My sister, love her to death. Um, my dad joins the Army in Presque Isle, Maine. Uh, U.S. Army becomes airborne. <laughs> you know, we out here. Oh, we oh, airborne, airborne family. Lead airborne leader. <laughs> oh. um, so they end up going to Fort Bragg. Love it. Uh, 82nd, of course. You know, represent NC. Fayetteville. Fayetteville. My boys. Yep. Yeah, um, and so, you know, 1997 hits. And uh, I'm born. Yeah. You know, best year out there. Oh. Sheesh. I don't know about that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so then, you know, parents move, grow apart. Uh-huh. Whatever. Mom stays in North Carolina. My dad moves back to Canada. after so he gets out of the Army, moves back to Canada. My mom meets my stepdad. And uh, it's funny because if you talk to my stepdad, you know, he's the most southern, redneck, you know, homegrown motherfucker that you'll ever meet. Love the guy. Love him to death. You know, known him for like 23 years now. You know, shout out. <laughs> Big dog. Shout out for always being there. Not on my birthdays, but it's fine. We'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, so then they, they you know, they uh, they get together because uh, we were homeless for like a little bit. So she was like, yeah, just come just come live with me. Fuck it. I wouldn't mind BAH. And then so she, he'll tell the story where he fell in love with me and my sister before he fell in love with my mom. And so, you know, and then I was the military brat. We moved around to the south a lot. And then when I was like, 10 about to be 11 my dad's like hey why don't you come live with me in canada and i was like all right bet never been to canada well i have for like vacation but i was like yeah fuck it let's move to canada so i moved there when i was in grade six ish and then graduated you know grade all my middle school years uh my high school years you know sports the whole nine yards uh, i got really big into skateboarding in like middle school got like an amateur sponsor which was lit um then i went to you know, then I went to high school and I was like, oh, women. Women, <laughs> yeah. Women, women are pretty Woo! great. I love women. They're awesome. And then, you know, you start dating them and they become assholes. And you're like, yeah, right, true. Maybe they're not that great. Very true. So, you know, you get into sports and then I graduated high school and I got an offer to go to the University of Alabama uh, for free, you know, on my stepdad's GI Bill or whatever. And so I had like two, like UNB, which is the University of New Brunswick, back home in Canada, and I had like Stu, which is. St. Thomas University, which is also in Canada, and then I had like Alabama, and I was like, "Well, Dad, think about this, right? Hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt for a college degree I might not even use, or free college." And he was like, "No, that makes sense. You know, follow your heart." And I was like, "Gay? All right. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I can't say that. Uh, that's lame." <laughs> um, so I was like, "You know, yeah, I'll, I'll go to Canada." So my mom came up with like my grandmother, my sister, and her husband, and graduate high school. We just did like a little little drive down the East Coast. Saw, like, the fancy cities and stuff and realized college wasn't for me because, you know, I just did 12 years of school. I was like, college is just like high school. Yeah. Fuck no. I was still a child, man. I was eating ramen noodles and blowing my money and not going to class. And so I joined the Army. And here we are. When did you join? 16? 16. 16. It's yeah, a freshman. 16. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Killer. Ouch. Killer. <laughs> Killer. Yeah. No, man. I fucking. Damn. So I you and Sanchez all. graduated together, same year. He's twenty-five too. Sixteen. Twenty. He's twenty-four. Yeah, he about he to be twenty-five. He, 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 t- he told me he graduated, graduated sixteen, 16? though. Yeah. And he graduated in sixteen. Graduated in sixteen. Oh, see, so I graduated his, in fifteen. His, his wife is the same age as we are. Bro. Yeah. Nice. Robbing the cradle. Robbing oh, the cradle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he said. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. 
Yeah, yeah great, man, great uh, guy. I miss home. I miss Canada. A lot. Is that where you're trying to go back to? Because I know you told me a little bit ago before you re-enlisted, mm-hmm. you told me that you might go back to Alabama and yeah. go to school there. Is that still no, possible? That's, uh, that's I mean, yeah, I guess it is possible because, you know, I'm about to go to Georgia for two years. Yeah. I love the South. Don't get me wrong. Hunting, oh, I love the South. Fishing and loving, loving every day. Every day. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Raise hell. Brother, raise hell. Brother, raise hell. Raise That's on time. Praise Dale. Oh, yeah. But um, I love the South, man. I love doing all that fun stuff. And I would like to eventually get a degree, but, you know, I'm lazy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I don't know how I got to where I am now. I just kind of showed up. Right place, right time, right uniform kind of thing. Kind of. And so... Yeah, I'm going to go to Georgia for two years, and then, shit, if I become homeless, I'll just move to Canada and, you know, do something. I don't know. It's free health care up there. So. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. shit. So if I get hurt. But I don't know, man. So I'm actually going back to Canada for the first time in five years on leave because I got 55 days of leave. So Damn. Leave. What? I'm not going to know what work is anymore. <laughs> I might go AWOL. He's going to come back with his big-ass beard. Yo, be like, what? What's up? This is my little four days, so we're going to see what 55 days looks like. Hell after yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I'm going to go home for the first time in five years. Everyone's excited. Um, all my friends are like, yeah, we're going to beat the shit out of you, Army boy. And I was like, Pfft. <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah, let's go ahead. One at a time, though. I'm, uh, I'm not good on cardio. That's what I'm saying. My cardio is not there. Not great. Not there. But yeah, I know. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. New chapter. I've never worked in the continental United States yet, so that's crazy. Yeah. Cause yeah, oh, that's right. Cause you were in Hawaii. I was in Hawaii before this. That's crazy. I hate that place. Um, love the people though. For you guys, if these guys get famous one day, when they get famous one day, someone sees this. We'll be there. Yeah, but yeah, I know I was in Hawaii and then here. That's crazy, because I know we, I was talking to uh, Sergeant Santos the same way, because he was, like, born in the islands. He oh, was yeah. a Pacific Islander. Yeah. Then he went to basic and bending, like all infantrymen do. And then he went to Alaska. Then he went here. So I was like, dude, you've never really been in the, in the OG 48 states mm-hmm. or nothing. That's kind of crazy. What? <laughs> what? Am I wrong? OG48. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn, bro. OG48. Dude, I got a speech impediment thing. Whatever. He's never been on the continent itself. Yeah, he has? Or not the continent. The country. Idiot. <laughs> Don't fucking try me. <laughs> yeah. You can correct me when you know what to say, man. I want to get, well, speaking of college, I want to get Doug on here. To give yeah. us kind of like an insight on like college yeah. as well, because I haven't been to college. You been to college? Fuck no. I you been to college? college? I been to college. Yeah. Okay. I went for a semester. There it is. <laughs> Woo! Uh, you got enough time to get the syllabus I'm, done, and yeah. that was it. I have six credits. <laughs> Hell yeah. How many do you need for a bachelor's? Like 168. Yeah. Or something like that. Because I wanted to get him on to give us kind of like an insight on yeah. like college, and also not just college itself, but college and what made him do the decision he did and the join. Degree, yeah. Oh, the army and yeah, stuff. yeah. Yeah, stuff like that. I want to get his insight oh, on that. Dude, he's super knowledgeable. Oh, he's very knowledgeable. I love talking to him. Like, and I, I talk to him. I feel like I get smarter just listening to him talk. Yeah, yeah I was well, so I was with him yesterday. Uh, we went paintballing. Yeah. Which, God, I fucking, it's fun, but Jesus, it hurts. <laughs> um, and uh, he was, like, explaining to me. I was like, yeah, I kind of got a headache. He's like, yeah, if you, you know, your hemoglobin in your blood doesn't travel across, like, through <laughs> your and I was like, what are you even huh? saying? Yeah. Now? You made me get more of a headache. Yeah. But thank you. So yeah, He knows what he's talking about. He's yeah, a very smart guy. Very, very smart. smart guy. I actually sent a video. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on TikTok. You know, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm with the young kids. Oh, for sure. And uh, it was like it was like someone in the Army. And it was like, hey, uh, you see this E6 over here with absolutely no nutritional experience or any kind of fitness training. He's going to lead PT today. And then it was like E4, I have a degree in nutritional, uh, like kinesiology and stuff like that. He's like, yeah, but you're an E4, though. And I was like, oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. That is, very that is true. so true. It's sad, but it's so true. Hard. It is it's so very true. true. It's very true. Oh, jeez. Especially to have somebody that specializes in that. Yeah, like that's what he that's, that's this. For. That's my thing. Yeah, he pays college <laughs> stuff for this. So yeah. He decided to go in. Man. A nutritionist in the army, like you yeah, can make you can do that. Have you seen a nutritionist? And what about what about that? And the fat, the fat. And fat oh. fuck. How can you tell somebody how to manage their nutrition if you're not properly managing your shit? It's not bro. the job for me. Not the job <laughs> for me. But uh, what I was saying was, is like not just him going infantry, but him going enlisted as well. Because I've had this, oh, I've had what? the conversation with him a few times, and I don't think I've got a real right answer from him, and I don't expect to, but it just something. Something curious, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because one, the pay, wow, right. you already have the credentials. Yeah. 
like physically and like mentally. Yeah, the hard part's over. Yeah, it's already done. Like you're already good. All you gotta do is just pretty much gotta do the same shit we did, yep. but just a little bit more amped. A little bit more. A little bit more, and a little bit more like uh, book end, yeah. like book smart shit, which he's uh, definitely can do, yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I definitely want to get his insight on stuff like that. That'd be cool. I'd definitely watch that episode. Yeah, it's because like that'd be a knowledgeable episode that I think a lot of people can relate to too. Yeah. Especially people like me, you know what I mean? That join at eighteen, mm-hmm. you kind of be like, really have much back in the South. <laughs> oh, that education, that education, you dude. What are you talking six. about, bro? We have two of the best colleges ever in sports. You and bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. But they have True. they have great education systems as well. Duke, Duke and UNC. Yeah. Duke's medical program is like through the roof. Yeah. Would I go medical? No. But they got it though. You know what I mean? They got the credentials. Should've shit, you should have. Should have just went to nursing school. I wanted to. Well, <laughs> you should have. We should have. That should be another episode. What we would have done differently. Because oh, there's a list. A lot. A Not list. <laughs> I would have let the other sperm get to my. <laughs> before I got there. I don't like. Tri- I don't like. I don't like. I don't. I don't like trip to fail. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's like my shoe would have came untied or something. <laughs> Tripped at the finish line. It's like Mario Kart get hit with a red oh. shell. Oh. <laughs> That is rough. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. No, Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking of college, my sister's actually about to go to University of Auburn, mm-hmm. oh, which shit. is disgusting because, you know, I'm an Alabama fan. That's right down the road from Alabama. Fort Benning, though, right? Auburn? Auburn, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. an hour, maybe. I actually yeah. don't even know. I need to look it up. But um, she's, yeah, she's going to go be a veterinarian. Ooh, she's going to make the big bucks out of here or something like that. I don't Vet know, I tech. I'm going to be honest with you. I, she tells me, and I'm like, cool. You uh-huh. just nod and wave, <laughs> I, nod I and wave. I the field for 14 days and have a shower, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but no, all my sisters are super smart, and I just got the stupid jeans, so we out here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely something you I'd kind of want to. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Street smart. Yeah, it's like your common knowledge smart. Yeah. Now like, to hey, do shit. do that. Yeah. But what do you know? I have a degree. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> when do you get punched in the mouth? Don't come in, bro. Yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah. It's like, I think a big thing is, like, it really don't even matter if you got a degree anymore. It really doesn't because you can pretty much get s- the same jobs. Yeah. Just as long as you got a little bit of fucking brain up here. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Some motherfuckers get degrees end up working at fucking McDonald's anyways. So yeah, it's that, true. Very true. That's when people, like, when you talk shit to them here, they're like, well, I have a degree. What do you got? I'm like, motherfucker, yeah. you in the same job mm-hmm. I am right That's now, what I'm saying. What are you talking about? Or another thing that really pisses me off, and this is military, just army wise, or military in general, is motherfuckers will be like, "Oh my GT's this." I'm like, "We have the same job, bro. <laughs> the <laughs> same job. We get paid the same, man. What are you talking about? I don't give a fuck if you got a 128 GT. We're doing the same thing, same brother. Thing. The highest I think I've seen was a 134, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm a genius." Mm-hmm. Cool, no, go sweep the motor pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a higher rank. What's up? <laughs> hey, go go scrub the toilet. Yeah, go bro. ahead and scrub the shit bro. off the toilet. <laughs> What's what we working with? 57? Okay, okay. Okay, when it hits uh, 59, we'll go ahead and cut it, hit it with the intro. I mean, the outro, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, but yeah, like, there's just been a lot of crazy shit, and I would like to get more knowledge on it. Like yeah. when it comes to like outsider shit, that's why I don't know. I don't know shit about Canada Canada's or being man. anywhere. Before before we go, I do want to hear this. What would you say your favorite place you've ever been to is? Mm, I, I would say I would say in the in the EU or this anywhere in general because I know you traveled a lot. Yeah, so uh, I actually was thinking about this question in the shower before I came over here. Mm-hmm. Probably should let that shower part thoughts. Out. Shower yeah. thoughts. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> but actually, so Appenzell or Switzerland. Uh huh. I've heard the place is beautiful. It is one of those places where you sit on the top of this mountain and you look out and you're just like, this can't be real. Yeah. Like, they don't eat the cheese. The cheese was made by the cows that live on the mountain and they, it's not great. I almost threw it's just, up. It's that atmosphere it gets to them. This, yeah, that wasn't the great, but dude, I like, I mean, I can show y'all pictures after this of just like drop offs and flying eagles and it's one of the most be- beautiful places I've ever been. And it's going to suck when I leave in 17 days. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I would love to go back to Switzerland. Switzerland okay. is unreal. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I think that was pretty good. That was a pretty good I chunky like, episode. I appreciate y'all bringing me of out course, here. Of course, of course. I'm so I glad I got to do this before I left. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Maybe maybe we can do another one like we said earlier. Sure. I'll, I'll be, I'll be super together. down to do that. Super yeah, down to do that. Hey, well, thank y'all all for tuning in. You know, Instagrams, Snapchats, links to the Spotify, all that will be in the description down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to put his Twitch, uh, his YouTube handle as well in the description below. You got anything else to say? No, I think I'm good. All right, peace out, y'all. I love y'all. This has been Caucasian Conversations. Deuces.